Well, hello there and welcome to the Black Sun Relationship Academy. My name is Unique and today's topic is about unlocking self-awareness and this really being the path to relationship bliss. Um, not looking to the other person, but really looking at yourself and the way you are formed. So join me right after this. Well, hello and welcome back to the Black Sun Relationship Academy. My name is Unique Samanda and I am a coach, one of the coaches here at the Black Sun Relationship Academy. I am also your style concierge. I really help you level up, girl, not just on the level of how you look, how you present, how you, how you show up in the world and those subtleties that make you the difference, that make you the je ne sais quoi. Before we go ahead, do like, share, comment, and subscribe, leave a comment, you know, talk to us. Let's talk about this whole thing of, of being self-aware, right? So today I just wanted it to be like a really relaxed feel of a video. I'm welcoming you into my lounge so we can talk about the, the real thing that allows us to date appropriately as well as really show up authentically because authenticity is like a buzzword at the moment and we've almost lost lost meaning to what that actually means so now um, self-awareness refers to having a deep understanding of yourself including your emotions your thoughts your values your strengths your weaknesses and your triggers let's start off by there um, a few weeks ago i did a video about emotional intelligence and being aware of what emotions come out of you and what emotions you evoke from others what 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 you bring about what do you bring to the table the proverbial table and that's always the question that's being asked what do you bring to the table and we always say as a feminine woman you bring a warm place for a man to 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 lay his head to lay his rest to dream to hope to be able to speak again but for you to be able to do that someone needs to feel safe within you right so the thing with um evoking safety in any spaces is really about managing your own emotions the thing that we carry around us we are energetic beings we're spirit beings right and then we are human beings but we're also mind beings intellectual beings it's about all of those pieces being in harmony with each other. Your thoughts and your patterns and your heart, your, your emotions all being in one place and being congruent. Have you ever been around someone whose energy just felt like they triggered you, just being in their presence like, oh my God, I don't want to go back again there. And it's about that. It's about how do you actually show up as a whole? not just as a pretty woman not just as a woman that's that's earned her money has her properties has a life in order it's about how someone feels around you maya angela once said that people don't remember what you do for them you know like all they remember is how you make them feel so when we unlock self-awareness it's about understanding how we make people feel around us do people want to stay in our presence do people want to want to want to see us again do people make plans with us so i i used to have this habit of saying oh no one wants to call me no one wants to talk to me but in doing the work i realized i wasn't exactly someone that my cousins or my friends wanted to be around i didn't have to be the life of the party but it's about making people around you understand your space and want to stay in that space. Most of all, masculine men are looking for a safe space. We're all looking for a safety space, a safe space. When we look at the hierarchy of, of Maslow's hierarchy, our essential need as human beings is safety. 
If someone can find emotional safety with you, there will be a friend for life. If someone, if a, if a masculine man can find safety with being around you, he has found his his rest, his, his peace, his woman for life. And it's all about that. And you develop emotional awareness by really looking at yourself and your triggers, your patterns, what you come with. What does all of being unique entail? Last week, I was, I was having a jolly old time. And I, like it was one of, those, one of the most fun videos I've ever done because I was able to show up as myself. And today, honestly, I'm not feeling like that. I'm feeling a little low because it's cold. I've had assignments all week. I haven't slept very well. So I'm not going to show up as that bubbly person that I was all week. And it's about making that okay. Making that okay within yourself that I don't have to perform for anyone. And that's, those are the key insights of understanding your strengths and your weaknesses. I understand that a video was due today. And that is what I needed to do. But the one thing I love about working for Black Swan Relationship Academy, that we have a space to show up as ourselves. To show up as, not as motivated as we always are. And to be honest with you, I'm not feeling that today. And I wanted to create this video from an authentic place of saying that I just needed some peace and quiet this week because I had been up all week, last week, preparing for assignments, like all over the place. My sleep pattern is all over the place. I'm not at my best. And harnessing your emotional language is being able to say that. It's being able to own it and say that, look, I'm not at my best today. I just wanted to come here in my tracksuit and be on my sofa lounging but still be able to produce a quality video that you're able to listen to and hear and that is about owning all of your parts all of who you are I know I mentioned Shani our our, our trauma counselor and she always talks about our parts about embracing our parts some of us don't have a great past and we get into relationships hoping that person won't dig into our past and, and, and want to figure us out. The truth is the person who's really put themselves to shame is ourselves. So there's a lot of parts of us that we have to deal with shame. We have to deal with the parts of ourselves that we're not happy with and embrace them. There is, I mean, I'm sure you've been listening online. There's all this work about shadow work dark feminine energy and all that all the ugly parts well the world calls it ugly but in god's eyes it's all beautiful all the parts of us that would rather not delve into i'm reminded of the story of rahab and how god so saw her as holy and chose her to be the one one the one person who saved the nation of israelites i'm not sorry the whole nation but the spies and because of what she did her whole household was saved and therefore the line of Christ came through her as well. She was a prostitute, known by all manner of men that came in and out of the gates. But because of where she was positioned, God used her for that very purpose. And sometimes we have to accept your sordid past is not just that. It's also part of your purpose. Yes, sometimes you would have made choices. I don't even know why I'm going down this avenue, but I guess somebody needs to hear it. Sometimes we've made choices in our lives that are not exactly the greatest and we're not able to move on because we have labeled ourselves as lame we have labeled ourselves as not worthy we have labeled ourselves as we've put all these labels upon ourselves and we've just put it down to oh it's my personality oh i'm anxious attached or oh, i'm this i'm that i'm introvert i'm blah 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 and we put all these labels to make excuses or not wanting to be better or do greater but the one thing that i've always said is to understand that everything and all of who you are is on purpose god made you that way because there's something out of you that he needs because of that and in the same manner rahab was able to save the spies because of who she was because of who she knew because she was at the city gates she knew the ins and outs of the town right and she could give the spies information that they needed. I always look at it this way. When you are self-aware, you honor all of you. You honor every single thing that has ever happened to you, for you, around you, 
and you honor that and you live in peace within yourself when you are therefore in peace within yourself you can be able to to provide peace for someone else I and mean, i know men always say they're looking for peace and we women too we look for peace and it, it, it's easier to say i want peace from someone else when you can't create it yourself and the art of self-awareness is creating peace within yourself by dealing with all those nasty parts i mean i can tell you how to do it which is obviously the soulmate attraction course book a discovery call have a conversation with one of the coach coaches and we can kind of give you a guideline as to how we can guide you towards that part of self-awareness i mean because of time there's not much i can really dig into when it comes to self-awareness but our patterns play a very big role in who we end up becoming who we end up choosing and when we settled all those patterns and settled all those parts of ourselves we're able to then choose with a little bit more clarity we're able to choose a partner that fits our core needs that benefits our 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 our, our desires as well as the ones that meet our non-negotiables we're able to walk away and when you're at peace with yourself i just had a call with a client today and she's just say ask me like how do i actually have that conversation of i think we're not compatible and i'm saying to her have it face to face because you have owned your path and where you want to be it's always best to tell someone face to face that look i'm on this journey and i don't think we are on the same pace and it's only when you've owned all of who you are that you're able to admit that and say you know what this road is not for me and you can go your own way um in recognizing our own behaviors and patterns we can significantly impact relationships in a positive way because you can speak for who you are no one has to try and translate what your silence is mean you can tell someone today i just need some quiet time like like me today right you can say to your partner that i just need some i just need some quiet i just need to be alone for a little bit and by recognizing our emotional triggers and understanding how our past experiences may influence our behaviors we can better manage our responses and avoid unnecessary conflict we have to take responsibility in how we manage conflict and there's so many ways we can manage conflict and it's always managing it with curiosity curiosity and openness and when we're open to conversation we're able to allow the other person to have a space to speak because you don't know what someone's going through until they're able to speak and having a platform where you are allowed to speak really benefits us in so many ways um so self awareness um helps in helps you develop empathy and understanding towards your partner when you are in tune with your own emotions you become more capable of recognizing and empathizing with your partner's feelings and needs you're more in tune because like i said it's all about alignment it's all about aligning your mind your heart and your body when you are congruent in your soul your spirit your mind and body you are able to embrace someone else's um feelings and how and their needs you're able to ask without feeling the need to be the nice girl to please them you are able to ask someone like what do they need in a relationship and vice versa you're actually able to tell what you need in a relationship and empathetic understanding enhances emotional connection and fosters a deeper level of intimacy in the relationship and as women you want intimacy you want someone who feels you and you feel something for men are not necessarily driven by emotion as much but they do have emotions and they want a safe space where they can speak about that they want to say space where i mean everyone wants that right it's not just men everybody wants that and when you find someone who is open to conversation and communication you're able to to relax a little bit right and when you reflect when you're reflecting on your own strengths and weaknesses you can identify areas of improvement and work towards becoming the best version of yourself which is what we teach you it's all about always becoming the best version of yourself it's all is about asking yourself how can i improve on this space that i'm in right now how can i improve like when you move into a home 
you you put you put sofas i once bought a blue sofa and it didn't fit so i've changed it now to a, a nice emerald green sofa with a footstool to match because it fits my personality more and i've always wanted an emerald green sofa and now i have it um i'm, I'm happy like so when you furnish your house you you want to add things that will make it look good i got a mirror some time ago that's over my fireplace and it just brings it enlivens up the space right same as us with individuals you always want to add things to you that liven you up that make you just the best version of yourself and there's never a better than best you're always moving towards being better and best in every single moment so before i go ahead i'm just going to leave you with this and i'll be back in just a few seconds Simple steps to join Black Swan community. Download the Black Swan app from either Google Play Store or Apple Store. Launch the app and tap on register. Put in your valid information, then tap and continue. Put in the verification code sent to your email to authenticate your account. Then log in to your account. Be sure to accept all permissions displayed at installation stage to enjoy all the cool features in the app. You can now enjoy a community of high value women with support from coaches and trainers. Book calls with coaches, chat, post and interact with the community. Enjoy! Welcome back to Black Sun Relationship Academy. If you have not shared already, please go ahead and share, like, comment. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment box and we can get back to you. Ask any questions, ask. If you don't ask, you won't know, right? If we don't know, we can research and point you towards the right place for you to get your information, get some information on your belt. So I am talking about unlocking self-awareness and how that is the part to relationship bliss. So I just touched on um, being the best version of yourself. And then we touch on the growth mindset. Let me just shuffle a bit so you can sit properly and, and scooch in. Like I said, welcome to my lounge. <laughs> welcome to my lounge. Like we are, we are all here gathered together in my lounge so that we can talk about all of these things that really affect us in, 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 in the long run. So the growth mindset creates a positive environment within the relationship as both partners are committed to personal and mutual development. There is nothing like someone who wants to grow with you someone who accepts because we all change i'm now I'm not the same person i was when i was 35 or when i was 25 or when i was 15 i'm 45 this year i'm not the same person and i accept that so in me looking for a partner i want someone who understands that at 55 i'm not going to be the same woman i'm going to continue growing i'm going to continue changing and that's the beauty of what will keep the relationship alive is accepting those changes the reason that we leave relationships is because we cannot longer we can no longer accept what is before us and when we stop to accept our partners we create a toxic environment in which they cannot thrive i always want to see my partner thrive even on days when they feel down i want to be there to support to be there with him and the same and vice versa i need the same days like this when i really feel like i just want to pull the blanket over myself and cuddle up and just watch movies all day and not have to do anything and eat ice cream because i don't want to go to the gym you want someone who supports you but still encourages you to still show up at your best you want someone who who feels that way about you so self-awareness enables you to set and communicate boundaries effectively being aware of one's needs, values, and, and limits allows, in, allows you to express yourself authentically and assertively. So there's a difference between aggression and assertiveness. Assertiveness is an, assure, an assuredness that you have within the needs that you have. So say if I am someone who needs someone who is compassionate. One of my core needs is I want someone who's kind. 
kindness for me shows up in different in different areas kindness for me shows up in a person opening the doors and consideration and how the person actually opens the door for me but sometimes you can open the door you walk in first and you hold it for me that's still considered kindness or when it comes to manners and being a gentleman i'll be like hmm, i'll be looking at you sideways because again it could just be down to you just don't know how to do that but you're trying to do your best and when you look at relationships compassionately authentically without being angry or showing aggression i could communicate the need for kindness by saying i love a man who is kind and i love the way you open the door for me I, i would love it if you let me go in first i mean that would you know i would be such a turn on for me and some of us are are find it hard to 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 tell those things that turn us on that make someone look attractive to us i love a man who can open the door like you know properly and stand back and allow me to walk in and it's it's all of those things i find that attractive i find it really sexy when a man can do that i find it sexy when a man can open the door for you and pay the bill when you're on a date and and uh, i was telling my client earlier that um the one thing that made me fall in love with my ex when we first went out on a date a few years ago now um we'd finished dinner and then he we kind of got out and it was a bit breezy and i decided to put on my jacket and he's like oh let me get that for you i didn't ask him to but he felt the need to put it on for me and i thought oh my god that's so kind and for me that was very attractive i found that very sexy that is what i was attracted to because i understand myself so in in that i encouraged him like i really love that thank you so much if he hadn't done that i wouldn't have felt any kind of way i would not be aggressive about it assertion means that you're able to state your boundaries and what your needs are from a place of if you do them i'm cool if you don't i'm not aggression comes across when you say well you better you better do this for me or else i'm gone no the thing with asserting boundaries is all about stating that look i like you as a person this is not a non negotiable for me it's just that i would like it if you didn't do etc abc and d 1 2 3 it's saying it in a compassionate way that the person understands because all of this is really about understanding it's about allowing the other person to still be themselves and not show up for you inauthentically because there are some men who just don't know how to open doors but they meet most of your core needs they are kind they have manners they they are leading men they want to show up for you but it's just that they may not know how to do these things that you're asking of them and you give them space to grow into it and it's their choice to choose whether they want to do that for you or not it shouldn't mean that okay that's the end of it so some of us we go into relationships saying oh if he does this i'm going to leave if he does this i'm going to leave and i i believe that's the wrong attitude to get into a relationship with it's almost like you're constantly threatening someone that if they do something you will leave it kind of begs to question do you even want to be in that relationship in the first place if you're always threatening to leave um in 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 being authentic as well you gain clarity and this clarity helps establish healthy boundaries within the relationship ensuring that both people feel respected and understood it's a big thing for men because they they want to feel respected so do women but not at a lesser extent than men especially in your in if you're in a heterosexual relationship you want to feel like you're being respected disrespect is one of the major causes of breakdowns um going into the last part about self awareness it promotes self care and self love which are essential for maintaining a healthy relationship and when when you both prioritize your own well-being you show up as the best version of yourself and when you recognize your own needs you take steps to fulfill them and you can avoid becoming overly dependent on your partner and maintain a sense of individuality that's another key is when you are aware of yourself you know when you need time away it's not that I'm an independent woman. I can do bad all by myself. No, I want my partner. I need my partner. I am codependent. I want him there. I want to count on him for those things that I cannot give to myself. 
I want to count on him. I want to be able to trust him. I want to be able to value our time together. I want to be able to, to just know that he's there. But at the same time, the thing that scares most men is the fact they fear that freedom is going to be taken away, which is what most of us women seem to threaten with. Men are scared of being dependent on a woman because for them, that means I have to be vulnerable. And vulnerability is a hard thing, not just for men, but for women too. It, I mean, even after all the work I've done, being vulnerable is still a very hard thing to do. And it takes self-awareness and self-care and self-love to be vulnerable. It's knowing that you are worthy, you are capable, you are loved and you are safe. First of all, within yourself, and then you're able to give that to someone else and ask it from someone else. So unlocking self-awareness is a transformative journey that can lead to relationship bliss. It empowers you to take responsibility for your actions, develop empathy, foster personal growth, establish healthy boundaries and prioritize self-care. By cultivating self-awareness, you can create a strong foundation for a fulfilling and harmonious relationship. So now with all of that that bubbling on, these are, these are my notes. Today I didn't flick around too much because um, last week I noticed that I was, that you just had my phone all over the place and I kept going back and forth. Um, so I'd like to leave you with this. In 2024, I want you to take the journey of self, the journey of self-healing, the journey of really knowing and clarifying what you want so that when you see it, you can grab it and, and be yours. The only problem is that we rely on other people to do the journey for us. No one can do this journey for you, darling. No one can walk your life for you except for yourself. And we create resistance within ourselves and for the things that we want when we don't want to look inward. We create um, everything that wants to come to us, wants to come to us, but when we are not allowing the doors to open the doors of vulnerability the doors of being open the doors of self-care to be open nothing can come to us even when it comes to our financial success our love success our family success our relationship sex any kind of success requires you to first of all be aware enough to open a door to let it in i'm challenging you for 2024 if anything Use the discount codes that we've put out for for um, for everything that was going on. We're going to be having a Christmas sale very soon. Make sure you get the bundles and start that journey of working on yourself. Set aside those times between the Christmas holiday and New Year when it's not that busy. Book a call. The coaches will be here working during that time because you know once you've been around family after Christmas, you need some alone time take that time out to make sure you start 2024 the right way by making making sure that your needs are being met and by that is clarifying clarify what you really want in life and set yourself a goal i know it's the beginning of the year everybody sets goals at the beginning of the year join them by starting off in december set aside some time for yourself to grow Set aside some time for yourself to really become the best version of yourself with booking one of the coaches, booking a trauma counselor to kind of pinpoint the things that you need to work on. You haven't come this far to fail and all you need is just that little extra push to just get you to where you need and everything. Like I say, my favorite scripture is in Romans 8. I never, I never remember. I think it's verse 28. I don't remember. It's for all of creation is waiting for the sons of men to be revealed. It's like everything that is for you is waiting for you. It's just for you to be aware that you are a child of God. Everything is set before you. All you need to do is just open the door to your own self-awareness and be aware what works for you. There's always something that works for you. And sometimes you just need someone else to just open your eyes so that you can unlock those doors for you. I really hope you have an amazing, amazing Christmas, amazing week as you prepare for Christmas. Um, we're not quite there yet. There's still a few more videos to go. Um, we're hoping to see you in the new year. And let's make the best of 2023. Let's make our lives change like to the best. Like let our level up journeys show up in our glow up. Yeah. 
in the meantime you take care of you and i will see you in another video you are definitely loved and see you soon well done for coming to the end of this video what i want to ask you is what have you learned what is your takeaway and what are you going to start practicing right away those three things are how you are going to get the best out of every class here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Please put it in the comments so that we can all have a look. So I can have a look, the coaches can have a look. And I promise you, we read every comment. We may not be able to reply to every comment, but we read all your comments and we want to see how you are growing. And we will see you on the next video.